Hello and welcome. My name is Ibrahima and today we are going to talk about machine learning which is a branch of artificial intelligence. Want to learn more about machine learning but don't know where to start? You're not alone. The field can seem overwhelming with so many different techniques and technologies to choose from. But do not worry, in this video I'm going to give you a roadmap to start your machine learning journey. First, you will need to understand the basics of programming. Python is the most popular language for machine learning and it has many libraries available so I recommend you start there. There are plenty of resources and tutorials online to help you get up to speed. I'll show you two resources at the end of this video. Once you're comfortable with programming, it's time to dive into the world of machine learning. There are two main types of learning, supervised and unsupervised. Supervised learning is a type of machine learning in which a model is trained on labeled data, meaning that the correct output or label for a given input is provided. The model learns to make predictions based on the patterns in the labeled data. Examples of supervised learning tasks include image classification, text classification, and regression analysis. Unsupervised learning is a type of machine learning where the data provided to the algorithm is unlabeled and the algorithm must find patterns or structures in the data without any prior knowledge of what it should be looking for. The main goal of unsupervised learning is to find patterns or structures in data that were not obvious before. A good starting point for supervised learning is linear regression. Linear regression is a type of algorithm that can be used to predict numbers. The basic idea behind linear regression is to find a line that best fits a set of data points. This line can be used to make predictions about new data points. A data point is a single point on a chart or graph that represents the value, rate, frequency, duration or other measure of a behavior. From there, you can move on to more advanced techniques such as decision trees, random forests and neural networks. As for unsupervised learning, k-means clustering is a good starting point. k-means clustering is a type of unsupervised learning that is used to group similar data points together. The basic idea behind k-means is to divide a set of data points into clusters where each cluster is defined by the mean of the data points it contains. From there, you can explore other techniques such as hierarchical clustering and dimensionality reduction. Today I have two resources that I use or have used in the past that I want to share with you. The first is Kaggle, you can access it by going to kaggle.com. Kaggle is a platform for machine learning and data science competitions. It was started in 2010 so that data scientists could take part in machine learning challenges. But you can also take your first steps by taking basic courses and progressing to more advanced subjects. First of all, you need an account. Once in, you will have access to five sections. The first, the courses, start with the basics of programming with Python and progress to courses in artificial intelligence. Then there is the competitions section, which allows you to participate in competitions to solve data science challenges. Some have rewards if your model qualifies. You will see that the exercises that accompany the courses allow you to submit your model to certain competitions and there is a ranking based on the performance of your model. There is also the discussion, which allows for interaction with other data scientists and machine learning engineers. There are datasets. The platform allows users to search and publish high quality, curated datasets, explore them and build models in a data science environment. When I was talking about fine tuning in my video on ChatGPT, I mentioned that you can use one of these datasets and submit it to ChatGPT to train it. I might do a tutorial on that. Kaggle also offers a cloud-based workbench for data science called Kaggle Kernels, which allows users to run code and share their work with others. The exercises are done in Jupyter Notebook, which rolls directly on the web. Kaggle puts the necessary resources at your disposal for free, with a quota to respect. Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows users to create and share documents containing live code, equations, visualizations, and narrative text. It is often used to clean and change data as well as for numerical simulation, statistical modeling, data visualization, machine learning, and other things. Jupyter Notebook supports many programming languages including Python, R, Julia, and others. The other resource is Google Machine Learning Education which you can access at developers.google.com where there are a lot of resources ranging from mobile development to artificial intelligence. What interests us is machine learning, so the full link will be developers.google.com machine learning. 
Google Machine Learning Education is a collection of learning tools that Google offers to help people learn about machine learning and artificial intelligence. These resources include online courses, tutorials, and other learning materials that cover different parts of machine learning, such as supervised and unsupervised learning, deep learning, and natural language processing. They are designed for people with different levels of experience, from beginners to experts. Google uses Collab to do different exercises, as Kaggle is a notebook based on Jupyter 2. Through these different courses, you will become familiar with a set of frameworks and tools that will allow you to deepen your expertise in machine learning. Of course, this is only the beginning. There's so much more to learn in machine learning, but by starting with the basics and working your way up, you'll be well on your way to becoming a machine learning expert. If you wish to try what others are working on, I have a bonus for you. Go to huggingface.co. Here you can find models that have been published. Select spaces, and you can short by the most likes. And you can try some models and experience what can be done with machine learning. This can motivate you to go further. That is it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tips.